Hey everybody, it's Katie in August. Wow, what are we doing? We're doing your 12 month update. <laughs> Finally, Yay! right? So I kept waiting to do this update until he was like healthy, not, you know, runny nose, nothing like that. And basically we are approaching 13 months so quickly that I just have to do it. <laughs> August turned one on November 3rd. That's right, it's Ma. Mama. Huh. He's probably just going to chatter through this video. He is very vocal still. Um, the last update I made, I think he was 10 months and he Mama. talked all the way through it. Mama. That's right, it's Mama. Mama. And now you'll grab the camera. Mm -hmm. So, as I just said, August has just had like a bunch of little sicknesses the past several weeks or so. He had like just a cold, and then he had something like roseola with the fever and a rash, and then he had croup that he's just getting over now, so... Oh boy. You're taller. I actually don't know how tall he is. I measured him myself a few weeks ago, and but I can't remember what the measurement was exactly. I remember looking it up, and it was like in the 75th percentile or something. So he is tall, but he is very, very skinny. He was 18 pounds, 10 ounces, which is like in the second two second percentile for boys of this age. Alice was also really small and he definitely has the genetics of his father so I, I imagine he's going to be tall and very thin like Mike so I guess that's what it is. He's still a huge eater of solids um, and I know that kids tend to plateau in um, their growth around this age so I don't know. We're not worried. We're not worried but he is a peanut. We hit the milestone of breastfeeding for 12 months. I just did a separate little breastfeeding update about that. Right now August has eight teeth. Um, he had seven, I guess, when he actually turned 12 months. And for a while I thought he was starting to transition to just taking one nap, but lately, maybe because he's been not feeling well, he's been back to taking like two good naps, or maybe even like two naps and then a bonus little cat nap. Um, so that's really nice. He's also lately been a better sleeper at night, or though that, you know, that sort of varies week to week. Some nights he's, some weeks he's still terrible and waking up many, many, many times. Um, and other nights he sleeps through, like last night. So as you can hear, he definitely makes a lot of noises. He doesn't use a lot of words, per se. He still says, Dada, Mama. Um, he says, Nana for banana. He calls Alice, Allah. Um, he calls Marcos, our cat, just Ma. I feel like he's a little, he says a little bit less than Alice did at this age. He also has pretty much refused sign language. Um, they've been trying to teach him just like a few basic signs. And he just laughs. He just, he won't even try. Um, he finally does use more, but instead of saying more like this, he like goes like this, which whatever, it's whatever works, but um, I don't know, he just thinks the whole thing is amusing and just isn't interested in, in communicating more, I guess. He does communicate a lot though, um, just sort of through body language and his noises and stuff. His personality has gotten a lot more fiery in the past few months as he's approached this like, you know, pre-toddler and now into a toddler stage. It seems like, for whatever reason, just our kids' brains are just wired to be a little bit more feisty or something, a little bit more intense. Um, he's just definitely displaying a lot of those, like, really strong emotional reactions and, uh, you know, extreme, like, persistence and not a lot of patience and stuff. Granted, I know this is just baby stuff. Um, you know, it's all cool, but, um, yeah, he's, he's a lot less go with the flow than he was when he was younger. Hmm. The best example of that is um, the World War III we go through every time I have to change his diaper, which is still like, I don't know, 12 times a day or something. We have very frequent diaper changes, and it is an all-out battle every single time. He just screams, kicks, fights, crawls away, hits me. Again, I know um, it's somewhat normal at this age. Alice definitely went through a phase where she didn't like having her diaper changed, but uh, you know, she would fuss. He, he like completely just loses his mind. Um, I don't know if he just doesn't like being on his back or he just doesn't like being mobile, immobilized or what it is, but um, he has very, very strong opinions about that. But on the plus side, he is still snuggly and adorable and sweet most of the time. He's like quick to laugh. He's really friendly. You know, when we're out, he's always waving to people and making eye contact and making, making people smile and stuff. He's very outgoing that way. He is not walking and he is not really even seeming to have any interest in, in trying or like he doesn't right now seem like he's like approaching um, approaching that at all. He is really, really good with fine motor stuff like Alice was. Just really, really, really good. Um, he's good with like wooden puzzles. Um, he stacks six blocks on top of each other 
Um, he's just very interested in, in small things and manipulating things and, you know, feeling things and things like that. But he's just, um, he's happy to just crawl and climb and be carried around. And really, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that at this point. He moves fast enough as it is. This way I get to hold him more and I get to, you know, he gets to be my baby for a little bit longer. Right now he's climbing up the blinds. A couple favorite things he's doing right now is imitating. So he will, um, you know, if I'm brushing my hair, he will pretend to brush his hair. If Alice is getting dressed or something, he will try to put on his own socks and hat and, you know, sort of put things in the right places and, and try to do that just like her. Overall, despite the, despite the little challenges, um, I really, really love this age. I forgot how much I love this age. I just think the second year of a child's life, like bet between age one and two, is so special. It's so amazing just to watch the world open up to them more every day. You know, they just, he just becomes more himself, and I get to learn more about his personality every day. A couple nights ago, we were taking a walk, and he was in the baby carrier. And we take a walk almost every night, but all of a sudden, like that night, he got really excited noticing the stars, and he was pointing. To, up to the sky the whole walk and just going oh, oh you know like really wanting us to notice too and just that kind of that sense of wonder is beautiful just beautiful that's right we'll keep you we like you and we'll keep you you know with his first birthday coming up I spent a lot of time just reflecting on his birth and my pregnancy with him and just his early days and things like that and this whole year I've really had this sense of like waiting for the other shoe to drop or something um, or the first shoe even because <laughs> things have just been so like wonderfully normal and I just feel like we've been so blessed and that's not something I say often um, but I just feel that he's just been the, the absolute like perfect addition to our family and I guess I just have this sense of like how can how can everything have worked out so well, you know? How can things be so good? I guess that's a good problem to have. And at a year, we still haven't met another August, but I'm sure that day is coming. All right, can you say bye-bye? Say, I'm one year old. August, look at the baby. Look at the baby. There he is. <laughs> oh, baby faces. Oh, baby faces. Nothing better, huh? So thank you guys for following us, um, sharing this first year of August life with us. Onward.